record. I think we're recording, yeah? Yep, I see it on my screen. Okay, cool. So welcome everyone to another Oily Fireside chat. Um, for those of you that are watching the replay, just a reminder, we do this every Tuesday evening at eight o'clock central time. Um, and we post the replays on YouTube as a private link so that you can go back and get your questions answered if you forget um, the info we shared with you. Um, so what we usually talk about um, the oils we've been using over the last week and tips and tricks. So I don't know who wants to start. Usually I start, but I don't have to start. Anybody, anybody? All right, I'll start. <laughs> I'll start. Actually, just this evening, I decided to use some of this Cool Azul nice little pain relief cream because I've also been doing, on top of running, I've also been doing some planks, which I haven't done in a while. And also watching two little guys where I'm required to hold them for a number of minutes, hours. <laughs> um, so my low back is kind of feeling the effects of it. So I just actually rubbed this on just before I logged on here tonight. And then I also got today, which I haven't treated myself in quite some time, the art Ooh. Yeah. I um, I decided, okay, I have enough points. I have enough essential reward points. I'm going to get this um, again. So and you I got it for free. Start, yeah, I got it for free, basically. <laughs> awesome. What's all in there? There is a gentle cleanser that you use, a refreshing toner, and then a light moisturizer. Um, it so, looks so pretty. <laughs> It, it's very pretty, and it comes it comes in this little box. Oh, cool. Those come in this box. It's pretty fancy, and um, so I'm pretty excited to to be able to be using that again. <clears throat> it's been it's been quite some time, and so I decided, yep, I'm going to use my points, and I actually still have points left by the way. <laughs> so that's my favorite part about ER points is I get to treat myself um, to stuff I wouldn't maybe normally buy on a regular basis. Um, I guess I'm curious because the art line is a product mm -hmm. I haven't tried yet. Mm. Do you find it's a lot like the other products where like a little bit goes a long way? Too. Very much so. Very much so. I um I am actually totally in love with the art sheer loom, um, which is currently out of stock. But when it is in stock, I try to I try to like have one extra like in reserve because I love it so much. Um, I usually wear that, wear that during the day, um, and and people are like, "You just look so glowing," and I'm like, "Ah, it's, it's just this little magic stuff that I have." You know, they're like, what magic stuff? And that kind of gets the conversation going. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I've had people, I like the Sherlum, but I've had people who wanted to try it. I let them try it and they're like, ah, it's just too thick. But they like the Art Light Moisturizer, which is Perfect. what I currently, which I'm currently <laughs> using. And I really do like it. It's light and mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Not that the Sherlum did, it didn't, but... It's thicker. So if you're yes. looking for something lighter mm -hmm. and less thick, the Art Light Moisturizer is a good one. Mm -hmm. So the other thing I think sometimes people forget is like, I mean, Young Living sells a ton of, there's a ton of oils in the Young Living products that are really, really good for skin. Mm -hmm. And I have a moisturizer that I use, a Baobab and Rose moisturizer. Um, that I end up adding oils to it. So like, I like to add um, the one that was just on sale, Blue Tansy, and then it really is like amazing for the skin. So I guess that's just a reminder for those who maybe kind of have their favorite tried and true, 
but want mm -hmm. some benefits of oils, you can add the oils to your existing um, products that you like. Mm -hmm. Agreed. That's a good tip. Yep. Well, I could go next for my product highlight for the week. Um, probably, what have I been using a lot this week? Probably my Thieves Household Cleaner. I've been using that a lot. Um, Karis is almost done with potty training, I think, but Thieves is a good friend for potty training. And Thieves is just really good. I mean, I use it for my windows. I use it for my carpets. We're working on remodeling the bathroom. So I've been cleaning up remodeling junk with it. Um, I had some stains and some clothes that I needed to get out. So my Thieves also cleaner came to the rescue for that instead of OxyClean or um, what's the other one I used to use? Shout. Um, what else? Hand soap. You can add, if you're out of your Thieves foaming hand soap that Young Living sells, you can just do some Castile soap and Thieves Household Cleaner and some water and make your own Thieves hand soap. Um, just, just a fantastic multi-use product. I love it. Thieves is like the best. <laughs> Agreed. I actually have a friend who it. was using a diff I don't know if it was like by Avon or something and she ran out so she wanted to try thieves um I was I have to be honest I was kind of nervous right because it's like head to head with another you know great product and she said it worked really great and she loved it so that was kind of nice to hear um that she found it at least comparable to cleaning power to one of her other favorites so that's pretty cool I think anybody that I've ever given a bottle of thieves cleaner to or has wanted to try it and has tried it like nobody has ever told me that they didn't like it no yeah. i've never had that either yeah it's i think anybody like that i've ever tried has been like i love it i can use this for everything seriously yep i had a friend of mine at the hospital who has one of those like glass pendant chandeliers you know what i'm talking about with like a gajillion little droplet thingies mm -hmm. And she's tried like every glass cleaner, even the crazy expensive ones. And she's like, it since the day we brought it home, it always has this like fog on it and she couldn't get rid of it. So I was like, try thieves. Maybe? Like it's not a glass cleaner. I was thinking lemon would be more effective, but I had thieves on me. I didn't have lemon on me. So she took and it was diluted. It wasn't the straight cleaner, like it was diluted thieves cleaner. And she's like, oh my gosh, Tessa, for the first time since we bought this chandelier, it's clean. I can see through the pendant. So she ordered, she's like, that day, wanted me to order a bottle of Thieves Cleaner. I was like, okay, cool. Glad we got your chandelier clean. <laughs> nice. I use it to clean my jewelry, too. Oh, yeah. Thieves I've seen that. Thieves Cleaner and then baking soda, some vinegar, and like a little brush. I usually just use an old toothbrush. It works pretty good. Awesome. That's yeah, it makes tip. it nice and shiny. I actually use the Thieves Household Cleaner um, at my place of employment um, around those two little guys. And um, it's kind of interesting, you know, I mean, I work for two doctors and, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a learning thing for them, you know, that you don't need all this bleachy stuff, you know, that it's better it's better for everybody um, not to have all those chemicals in your home. And mm -hmm. like, oh, I said, and, you know, you'll appreciate this, Luke. The little guy I watch, his name is Lucas. Oh, I, yeah. I call him Lukey. <laughs> um, he loves to help me clean. He loves to help me. So whenever I'm using the Thieves Household Cleaner, <laughs> I have no problems with him helping me, you know, because I'm like, it's not going to hurt him. Mm -hmm. And he, every morning when I get there, we have to start the diffuser. So I guess I'm leaving that diffuser there. Buys <laughs> 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 her kit, <laughs> you know, which is totally fine. I don't care. But he's like fuser, fuser, and he helps me to put the oils in. And so uh, one way or the other, we're we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this household, you know, all those toxins out of there. Nice. Yeah. So. 
it's really cool. Yeah, Levi's. I love it too because Karis loves helping me clean and if I was using crap that you get at Walmart I couldn't let her help me clean she loves helping me clean so uh -oh. Le Levi was Levi was helping me make dinner today mom I want to help you I'm like okay buddy so he's helping me make dinner I said okay bud well now we got to do the dishes so we loaded up the dishwasher I was like okay now we got a vacuum we were just getting stuff done because the other kids were downstairs with Tim so then he, he looks at the thieves spray bottle I have. He goes, mom, is it time to spray yet? Cause usually he's a sprayer. <laughs> so, but mom, when's it time to spray? I think this one needs to be sprayed. I think the window needs it. So he's like spraying everything. Like he goes, mom, I need my towel now to wipe it all down. <laughs> he loves it. He uses, I mean, but he'll use the whole bottle of thieves cleaner if I let him, but well, at least everything's sprayed. <laughs> So I have two cats in my house and one is very curious and a little bit mischievous and uh, last fall I was cleaning out we have a closet behind our door our entryway door and I was kind of purging old jackets and cleaning it out and organizing it and he went in the closet um, and I didn't know. So I think it was the next day that we, I heard him like pawing, pawing at the door. So I let him out and I thought nothing of it. And a couple of months later, I went in that closet to get out like winter jackets and swap out, you know, fall and spring and winter jackets. And it smelled like cat pee in the closet. So we have this portable air conditioner, the one that has the exhaust tubes that goes out your window and it's on wheels and you can roll it around the house. Well, when he was in the closet, because he was there for a whole day, I'm like a horrible pet mom. Hopefully nobody calls like the Humane Society on me. Um, he jumped up on top of that because he didn't want to go to the bathroom on the floor and he peed into the vent of our air conditioner, which we had just bought this summer and those things are not cheap. I tried everything to get the smell of cat pee out of that thing. I tried Dawn dish soap to try and break up the oil. I tried Mrs. Meyers cleaner because that's a really scenty cleaner I thought maybe that would help and I'm talking like two rounds of each steaming hot water and you would walk past it and you could still smell that cat pee and um, finally I thought well I've got this young living stuff people say it's amazing so what I did was I mixed some hot water with the thieves dish soap some of the thieves household cleaner and some drops of purification and i poured the water into the vent where he had crawled up and gone to the bathroom and then of course it goes down into the like where it collects the moisture and you dump it out of the spout and i could not believe it one bucket of that poured in there through and the smell was completely gone like Yay! completely gone cat pee right so like this thing is still stored in the closet. You open that closet up and nobody can tell that there was any cat urine in there whatsoever. Like it is completely neutralized and gone. It's amazing. Awesome. Anyway, um, should I talk about my products? We could go for hours about Thieves Cleaner. <clears throat> Um, so I have two that I'm sharing. One is Young Living and one is something new I've been trying that uses um, Young Living stuff. So I finally bought this, I don't know if you can see it, but the rose ointment. And I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. So much like everything on my wish list, it's like I want it. And then I'm like, now that I have it, because you know, you add things here and there to your ER order. What all can I do with it? Okay, I'm an outdoorsy gal. We were just out organizing our boat. I have dirt under my fingernails right now. I'm not like a manicure type of person. Um, I'm just not like that. But 
sometimes you do need a little pampering. And I was looking at my fingernails and my toes the other day thinking, gosh, it sure would be nice to go get a manicure, which to be honest with you, I don't really want to do just yet, even though they're opening everything back up again. So I was reading that you can use this rose ointment as a cuticle oil. Um, and so I have started nightly rubbing it in to my cuticles and my nail bed and kind of all around the area on my fingers and my toes. And I'm not kidding you, it looks like I've had a manicure. And I've only been doing it three nights in a row. This stuff is awesome. And you can't even tell I made a dent in it. So um, a little bit goes a long way, just like anything. And of course it smells awesome. So I apologize if you can hear my dog whining in the background. Um, <laughs> It's a little distracting, but anyway. So that's the first one I've been using. Um, the other product I started using, um, I wanted something new to do with my oils, and I saw this ad in Facebook for this product called Fume. I don't know if you've recognized this in any Facebook ads because I think they're targeting essential oil users. And this thing is a wooden inhaler. And they have a couple of different styles. I actually bought it for John to try and help him stop smoking because black pepper is known to help um, with addiction issues. And we were hoping that the combination of this and maybe some nicotine patches would help him kind of get rid of the habit. But I started reading about grapefruit oil and its ability to help with cravings. So um, Tessa knows that I <clears throat> do this diet called Trim Healthy Mama and it helped me lose a ton of weight. But since being home with this kind of safer at home situation, I've been like eating everything in sight to be honest with you. And I got back on plan this week and so when cravings kind of sneak up, I thought, well, I'll try this thing. And so I don't know if you can see that white thing in there. It comes with these cores that are like wicks. And you spread them apart and then you put two to three drops of oil on. And they say that wick will last you a good week. Now, I can still, I had RC in here before. And when I inhale, I can still get the sense of the RC, so I suspect it would last you longer than a week. But when I find a craving coming on, I, believe it or not, it's helping me to not go for the sugary, potato-y chip stuff. And part of it, I think, is that hand-to-mouth. You know what I mean? Like you're putting something in your mouth and you're having a craving, plus inhaling the oil. And so you just you know, inhale it like you would um, if you put the oil in the palm of your hand, right? So I'm trying it and it's been working pretty good for me and this wasn't super expensive. And so I guess I just wanted to share it with all of you as another option of something that maybe people hadn't thought about that they might wanna do with their oils. Cool, that's really cool. I've seen those before, I've just never, oops, I've just never tried them. Very you know, cool. I got, like I said, they have different styles and I figured if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But so far I'm liking it. Very cool. I, I also, with sugary cravings and stuff, I had a diffuser of citrus fresh sitting right next to my refrigerator. <laughs> like, like I basically had to touch the diffuser to touch the door handle. So I had that. And then I also had a glass of, um, sleek in my like in my water because sleek also helps curb sugary cravings so that's what i did because i hadn't heard of the foom fume foom F -U -M. I think, yeah f-u-m but it has the umlaut on top so oh, okay. whatever that is it's there it's made in canada okay that's cool i also use a lot of the rose ointment um for in well, I use it for a lot of things, but two particular ways. So in, especially in the winter time, um, when I'm washing my hands eight gajillion times at the hospital, they get cracked and mom can attest to this. They get cracked and they bleed and they're just terrible. And so I 
a slather on the rose ointment and I put socks on my hands at bedtime and I look like a crazy person, but I tell you what, that stuff works better than anything. And I have tried every moisturizer, every lotion, everything possible. That stuff works awesome. And then um, also in the winter, my kids always get like chapped underneath their lips here or like on top. And so they each have their own little thing of rose ointment that they put on during the winter time. And it really helps keep that chapping um, at bay. And I mean, if they, eat, if they consume it, eh, you know, the ingredients are all natural anyway, so it's not a big deal. But mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and they think it's cool because they got their own little thing of rose ointment. And whenever they have any dry patches of skin or whatever, mom, what should I do? Go get your rose ointment. So they do. They put it on. And I don't know. I think they like the autonomy of being able to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. It's awesome on your lips, too. I got a little sunburned mm -hmm. out in the boat fishing um, kind of around my lips, um, and it helped that yeah I used to I actually used to have some really dry elbows and um I started using that and I can honestly say that I've had to use it on my elbows in a very long time I mean it's like wow um my husband actually uses it every once in a while sometimes his hands get a little dried out depending on what he's doing and yeah he'll he'll use it He's like, this stuff is awesome. <laughs> I'm actually putting it on my cuticles right now while we're chatting. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I love that efficiency. I know. I was like, well, it's right here. <laughs> Luke's drinking essential oils right now while we're talking, so. <laughs> awesome. I got my diffuser going too, so that's a given. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I'll go next. Okay, this one was on my on my wish list for a long time, and I got it for my birthday from my grandma. Harmony. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it's on your wish list, you should for sure get it because it smells awesome. Mm -hmm. And I honestly don't even know what it's good for, but I just <laughs> put it on all the time. I'm like, kids are doing schoolwork. Eh, let's put some harmony in the diffuser. And the kids are all like, mom, that smells so good. What is that? So I don't know. I don't know if it's good at balancing all the crazy emote. I don't know. It, it is. It's, 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 one of the, um, it's one of the oils in the feelings kit. Oh, there so you go. It, it is for like emotions and stuff. And so. It so, smells awesome. It does. So it's so, so good. <laughs> so I actually I like have. Harmony, sorry, go Rose. No, I was gonna say, I have a funny story about Harmony that just happened to me this week. Um, I work in credit um, for my job and um, credit and sales are not always the best of friends, right? Sales want to sell and credit is always calling out all of the risks. And I had some meetings that went particularly well yesterday that I thought, well, I'm surprised how easy that was. Well, a friend of mine, she also um, uses Young Living products, and she had just told me about this Aveda diffuser blend that's supposed to smell like the Aveda salon. So it's like two to three drops each, rosemary, lavender, ylang lang, a citrus of your choice, and um, peppermint. And I've been diffusing that like crazy. Well, the other day I put it all in, and grab my stuff, grab my purple lavender. I set it on the diffuser next to my, like all the oils, cause I'm using them every single day, all the oils next to it. And I remembered thinking, gosh, that meeting went really, really good. And then I had a break later and I wanted to put my oils away. So I went to put them away and I had thought it smelled a little different. Well, here when I grabbed the purple lavender bottle, I actually grabbed Harmony because I arranged my oils alphabetical and Harmony and lavender happened to be right next to each other. And I was like, that's weird that these, I mean, or is it that the meetings just went like, I just felt like I was way more easygoing on them. And I am telling you, I attribute it to having Harmony by accident in my diffuser. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I, I like I, confusing I, harmony when the two girls are at each other's throats because <laughs> it just helps us all get along really well together. <laughs> 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 cool. 
Cool. Um, Luke, do you have anything? We have about 10 minutes left. I don't know if you. I'm going to say lime because mm -hmm. I've really been in the mood for, um, I make some lime shrimp tacos. I have oh, a really yeah. good for those. It's really good. Very good. Awesome. Try this again. <laughs> I like to diffuse lime. It smells really summery to me. <clears throat> I like lime and peppermint together in the diffuser because it, I don't know, it reminds me of a mojito. I don't drink mojitos, but that's what I think a mojito <laughs> <laughs> I was actually just thinking of putting lime in with like a pina colada. I don't drink pina coladas very often either, but I'm like, ooh, coconut and lime, that would be delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made a sugar scrub once, because a sugar scrub is white sugar and then coconut oil, and then I put lime in it, and that, that was amazing. Mm. I loved that combo. That's a well, good I bet one. that would be good. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Jasmine, any questions? Jasmine on the spot? Too? I know, I'm gonna put her on the spot, see if she has any questions. If not, we can start to wrap up. can't say I have any questions, no. Okay, cool. Do you have an oil of the week? Uh, today I just used a bit of pan away because I was having mm. some like muscle cramps and um, like Eric and I were out for a walk in. Uh, for whatever reason, like just breathing was getting difficult and stuff like that. So like we got home and I just put on a bit of pan away on my um, abdominal muscles and then um, like I could just kind of tell right away, just kind of relaxed and kind of helped with the nauseous feeling that I was feeling or having and all that stuff. So um, yay for pan away. Woo! <laughs> what was it that you used at the gym for breathing, Rose? Was that Raven that you always used to put on your chest when we worked out together? Yeah, I just diluted Raven in some carrier oil and I put it in a roller bottle and right before we'd work out, I rub it on the chest and it got everything opened up. Yeah. You have Actually, Raven, like, husband, or RC? Yeah, I have both of them. It was just more so like cramping in the stomach. Um, mm. I don't know, I, Eric thinks I may have chugged water a little bit too quickly. Mm. <laughs> well, there is always that. <laughs> when we got back, I had to run to the bathroom really bad too, so. I'm thinking that I may have chugged you a little bit too much water, but, um, and now I just realized this is going on um, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Jasmine. But it's a private link, so yes. not everyone will see it. <laughs> but yeah, so can I help? And then yeah, now I'm feeling a lot better. But it was just kind of yeah. So that that was a good oil, but nice. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's it for me. I don't know. Does anyone else have anything they want to share? We got about seven minutes, I think, before they cut us off. So hmm. the infamous cut off by Zoom. Right. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, thanks everyone for joining. It's been fun. And I thanks guess we'll see you. Through. Thanks. Next week, same time, same place. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Awesome. Sounds good. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.